Mayor Lovely Warren has partnered with the City School District and Rock the Future to provide a new tool for parents of young children in Rochester. Ready Rosie is a mobile educational tool that equips parents with learning opportunities wherever they are. Here to tell us more is Robin Hooper, Executive Director of Early Childhood at RCSD, and Jessica Lewis, Communications Specialist for Rock the Future at the Children's Agenda. Thanks for coming on, ladies. Thanks for having Thank us. Um, Jessica, we'll start with you. What is Rock the Future? Rock the Future is a community-wide initiative focused on improving educational outcomes for Rochester's children cradle to career. Mm -hmm. And Robin, what does your office do, Office of Early Education? Well, the Office of Early Education uh, implements and supervises all of our pre-kindergarten programs for three and four-year-olds, as well as our preschool special education services. Mm -hmm. And how did the Res Ready Rosie um, idea come to Rochester? Sure, so Rock the Future, um, as a community-wide initiative, we're always looking at educational outcomes, specifically for students in Rochester City School District. Mm -hmm. um, and we have collaborative action networks, which are work groups that focus on different areas um, related to our outcomes. And so one of those work groups is the Parent Engagement Can. Mm -hmm. And the Parent Engagement Can is really designed to help um, foster a better understanding of how important it is for parents to be engaged. Mm -hmm. And then with Ready Rosie, that's an educational tool that parents can use to engage in learning with their children everywhere mm -hmm. that they go. So at what exactly is Ready Rosie? Is this like an app on your phone that you can get? Yes, it okay. is an app that parents in the city of Rochester can get free of charge. Okay. And uh, we have been showing the parents how to access that. Mm -hmm. What sort of activities can parents find on Ready Rosie? Yep, so um, activities take place in everyday situations. So at the laundromat, restaurant, playground, grocery mm -hmm. store, um, a parent can have their child in the cart, you know, and pass the produce section. That parent can ask the child, you know, what it is that they're seeing, what's uh, left to the apples below the pineapples, you know, just to kind of develop those language skills, mm -hmm. um, all, all kinds of activities. Mm -hmm. And what, what age range are we talking about? Zero to five. Mm -hmm. Zero to five. And why, why is that important, Robin, zero to five? Well, that is a particularly important time in a child's life because that is when they begin developing all the foundational skills. Mm -hmm. And one of the foundational skills that they develop at zero to five is language. Um, and language is really essential to everything that mm -hmm. a child learns. Um, that is how they learn concepts. They learn the words for concepts and then they learn the meaning of the concept. Mm -hmm. So language is deeply rooted in everything um, that a young child learns right from the age of birth all the way through uh, eight years of age actually. Those are the early childhood years. Mm -hmm. um, so having this as a, as a uh, assistance to parents in helping their children learn is really a very critical piece. Mm -hmm. One of the nicest pieces about the Ready Rosie app is that it is available in English and Spanish. Oh, very nice. And we have many families who are Spanish speaking in mm -hmm. Rochester. So exactly how does it work, Jessica? Uh, walk me through the app. Yep. So what um, must happen first is that a parent must register by okay. going to readyrosie.com. They register, they put in their zip code, um, and then they'll check off the um, center or educational site that their child is enrolled in. And okay. then they put all their information in. Once they register, they'll receive videos to their phone via text or okay. email. And then those videos demonstrate um, how parent can engage in learning, you know, in everyday settings. Mm -hmm. So if we're talking about, you know, zero baby, infant, newborn, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the, um, the activities that are offered for, for such a young age? Well, my focus has been mainly on preschool, mm -hmm. but some of the things that, uh, you know, are featured more for infants and toddlers might be singing. Mm -hmm. You should always be singing with children from the time they're born. Um, just simple uh, activities of making eye contact mm. and uh, having a child develop motor skills like grasping your finger, mm -hmm. being able to follow your finger, mm -hmm. different things that you can do that develop those skills that parents might just not think about mm -hmm. um, if they didn't have a prompt like Ready Rosie. How did you know that this tool would be a good resource for Rochester? Did you bring in any test groups to try it out, anything like that? Well, I believe you guys went to San Antonio, is that right? Well, I actually went, was asked by our superintendent, mm -hmm. myself, and uh, our director of uh, parent engagement 
Eva Thomas to go to a conference in Washington, D.C. Uh, that was about family engagement and literacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, I actually met the early childhood director from San Antonio, okay. where Ready Rosie was developed, and okay. she sought me out and you know spoke with me about how it had been implemented there, the mm -hmm. success, their population, which also includes uh, many Spanish mm -hmm. speakers mm -hmm. in Texas. Um, and so that really helped me learn more about it, and I was interested. And so when it became a topic that we were discussing in our Rock the Future mm -hmm. meetings, mm -hmm. um, you know, I was already geared to be on board mm -hmm. with this type of initiative. When you were learning about the technology, what kind of questions did you have from the school district's point of view? Well, we just wanted to know how accessible it was, mm -hmm. how parents would access it, um, because we wanted to make sure it was something our parents would be able to use. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we heard that you know parents would be able to use it with their smartphones, mm -hmm. um, that made it something that we thought would be of value to our parents because uh, I would say in our most recent surveys and numbers, about 60% of our parents have internet access mm -hmm. either through their smartphone or at their home. Sure. We certainly would love to see that grow, but that's still a majority of families. Mm -hmm. And they can also have access to it at their program. Okay. Um, we have technology at our programs mm -hmm. where a parent could view these on a computer right. okay. or Okay, so on you a could screen. go into the library yes. in your neighborhood and, and use that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, what kind of feedback have parents given you so far? Um, lots of positive feedback. Mm -hmm. um, to date, we have 612 um, parents registered great. for mm -hmm. Ready Rosie. Mm -hmm. um, so we've heard nothing but positive feedback. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do kids say about, about it? I have not heard too much from the students, but they are mm -hmm. very, very uh, in, in, in sync with uh -huh. technology, Absolutely. our young children today. Yeah. More than us. They yeah. take to it very naturally. Uh -huh. They can pick up a smartphone or an iPad or another electronic tool sure. and easily learn how to use it with very little guidance. Mm -hmm. And they just seem to be very attentive to it. Do you think this is kind of learning in disguise for them? Yes, oh, absolutely. I do. Yeah, I do. And they might not. Children at this age, they don't know that they're learning. Mm -hmm. They're just doing it. It's right. fun for yeah. them. Right. Yeah, it's just a fun activity. What are some of the other resources out there for, for parents, um, RCSD yeah. and at Rock the Future? Well, uh, at RCSD, if you go to our website, um, we have a, a tab for pre-kindergarten programs mm -hmm. that you can click on. It's on the, the left side. And then that takes you to many other um, areas in our web pages for early childhood. And we have uh, many resources in that. And we also have links to other resources, okay. like our curriculum, uh, state resources, a variety of different resources, things that our staff have developed that they put up there, like song cards with particular songs for the children, uh, movement activities that our occupational therapists and, and physical therapists have designed mm -hmm. for young children. So there are a variety of resources on our website. Wonderful. And how about with Rock the Future? Rock the Future, where well, we're not a program or service provider, mm -hmm. um, but we partner with different mm -hmm. organizations okay. and we partner with um, companies and businesses in the Rochester area to make sure that they are aligned. Um, and that's really our purpose so that all of these programs um, that are available for our community, you know, they're not operating in silos, but we're working collectively. Sure. Where would you like to see uh, Ready Rosie go, or are there more programs like this, more partnerships mm -hmm. in store for Rochester? Yeah, we would like to see more, and we're always working to build uh, collaboratively. One thing that I think is very strong for us here in Rochester is our partnerships and our mm -hmm. collaboration, particularly at the early childhood level. We've been doing collaborative work for many, many years mm -hmm. um, with the city, with the public libraries, right. with WXXI, a lot of our partners. Um, and so I would just see us as looking at a continuous improvement model where we're always striving to do more. We may not know what more we can do uh, until we start seeking it out. 
Mm -hmm. And that's what we do in our work together. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also a member of Rock the Future and serve on some of the different cans, mm -hmm. like parent engagement, yes. like school readiness. Sure. And other staff members in my department also. Um, are involved, so mm -hmm. we, we work a lot together, I would Excellent. say. Excellent. Finally, Jessica, how can parents get involved with this kind of work? Are you looking to recruit parents to these groups? So, um, yes, parents can participate in our collaborative action networks, but we want to make sure that if there's a city parent out there watching, that they register for Ready Rosie. Absolutely. It's free for all city parents with kids ages zero to five. They can log on at ReadyRosie.com and start receiving their free videos today. Excellent. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank Again, you. more information about Ready Rosie is uh, also found at rcsdk12.org slash Ready Rosie. And if you need to call, you can call RCSD at 585-262-8140.